can't win. <laughs> nothing, nothing to say. You know, we talk to our guys about the matchups. We talk about establishing a, a defensive uh, principle early, getting after guys. Don't let scores, don't let Durant get going. Don't let Wally come in the game and, and get going. Tell him I played with Wally. He's a, not a good shooter, a great shooter. Durant, hey, if he gets it going in time of score, makes his first three, four shots, it could be a long night. And then it seems like he just energized him. And I give our guys credit. You know, we battle back. But then you got to try to play perfect basketball. And uh, you make one mistake, and it just deflates you. But our defense the last two games has just been awful. Is it just errors or mental errors? Or? Well, we're just doing things that we shouldn't do. I mean, you know, we're leaving shooters open, rotating the guys that, that are not shooters. You know, I mean, a couple of times we rotated to to one of their bigs and left Wally in the corner standing wide open when we, we you know, every day at our meetings, shoot around, we go over who the shooters are, and we always tell our guys, you got a choice between anybody and these couple guys, you fake and you stay at home. And the thing about it, we got to carry those things out in the game. And we just, our last two games, I mean, our defense just been, and we're not up on guys. I mean, you got to start the game getting into people, not hoping they miss, make make a miss. And so, so guys, you know, don't get their confidence going. Because once they get the confidence going, I mean, Durant started taking step back, fall away shots. And now all of a sudden, he's feeling it. Now the team is energized, Wally making shots, uh, other guys on the team making plays, and it just, just snowballed. Sam, how did you feel about Jose trying to bring the team back in the floor? Uh, I don't understand. I thought it was five, four of the guys on the court. You know, Jose played. You know, we look offensively wasn't the problem. Our problem the last two games been our defense. So. You okay with the offenses? Because obviously. <laughs> well, hey, you would always like it to be better. You would always like it to be 124 if you lose, give up 123. But. You know, we just got to play better defense. Sam, you had the defense going earlier in the season, and, and, you know, in the first, the last four wins before this, the defense held you. What causes this kind of breakdown? The difference between uh, the Clipper game and the last two games, don't know. I mean, we just have carrying out our assignments. We're not doing the things that, we, that we're taught to do. And, um, you know, we understand that we have some deficiencies as far as foot speed, but that's why our defense is supposed to keep everything in front. The guy on the ball, pressure the ball, and then everybody else is supposed to be in the help position and make guys take tough shots and then rebound and then get out and run our stuff. But, uh, you know, we're not stopping the basketball. Does it, does it matter sometimes, Sam, if the shots are falling for you guys? The guys might not sometimes. Well, the shots fail tonight. That's what I mean. Maybe they don't concentrate as defense as much as when their shots are falling. Well, the people who got to get start the game, give us defensive presence, is Rosho and Jamario. And those guys got to come out, and the guys that they're guarding, because normally Rosho takes the best perimeter, I mean inside guy, and, and Jamario's taking the best perimeter guy. And the last couple of games, we've let those two, uh, you know, the perimeter guys and, and stuff get off to a good start, and then it makes it tough. So, you know, everybody got to do their job. Everybody got to understand their role. And, you know, uh, we got certain guys on this team that their role is to give us a deep, more of a defensive presence. Not to say they're not supposed to shoot the ball when they're open, but to start the game, they got to give us a defensive presence. They got to establish our defense. And, and last couple of games, we just haven't done it. We, and we were down. I don't know what we were down. We were down a decent number at one point. When we hung in, we hung in pretty well. And, and a lot of people played well. We had a lot of guys in foul trouble. I mean, Weezy couldn't stay on the floor. And uh, Kurt got it for a little bit. Jeff had it. And just different guys came in and picked us up. I mean, I, I thought everybody that played, you know, contributed and did, did good things. I thought the point guards were good again. Um, I mean, it, you know, we could talk about a lot of people. Uh, bench play seems to be uh, a thing that keeps coming up, and again tonight they were strong for you. Yeah, I thought they were. Uh, I thought they were very strong. They had one bad stretch uh, in, for the, for most of the game. They were very good. They had one stretch when when we had 
done well, and all of a sudden, away we came out of a timeout and did a, did a poor job. But other than that, I thought they did a very good job. Wally was, I mean, really good, very, very good, uh, and got us going. Luke gave us a big lift when he first came in. Uh, Jeff was, I thought, was very, very solid. Nick Collison had a great game. I don't know if his, I mean, I, I think he was like 10 and 10, and 10 but he played better. Than, I mean, he, he he gave his defense. He gave us some huge rebounds when we needed them on both ends of the floor, and he, you know, he made some really good plays. Jelly gave us good minutes. Uh, in the first half when he played. Uh, I don't know who the other guy is. I'm forgetting somebody off the bench, but every guy who played contributed, uh, you know, off the bench. So it was, uh, you know, it was, I thought it was very solid. How important was the way that you defended Bosch, particularly in the fourth quarter? He had two points and you bothered him. They, if they quit going to him after a while. Well, I, they, they were, you know, they were, they were getting other things and they kind of went to a three point mentality there for a while. And, uh, they went small and we stayed zone. We got away with it for two possessions and then they just buried two or three threes and, and we had to go back. But we had to go small ourselves. But um, I, I thought we got better help to the guy who was covering Chris in the second half. Um, in the first half, we didn't, he, either he made his move too quick or we were uns uncertain.